Hendo is no ordinary robotic hand. It's 3D printed in one piece, no screws, no bolts, no hassle. A fully functional, zero assembly masterpiece. And it all starts right here on the 3D printer. Designed with precision to mimic the motion of the human hand, in just one go, it's ready to perform. With flexures that mimic human joints in motion, it's smooth, powerful, and it's designed to last. It moves like us, with flexures that keep it running smoothly. Each finger is highly flexible. No loose parts, no assembly, and it'll never turn evil because it doesn't have red LEDs. I wanted Hando to be all one piece so that I could just print it and start using it. It's designed so that these flexures allow it to be printed all together, uh, replacing any sort of joint or fastener. And then it has this fishing line that uh, then allows me to contract and control the, uh, the fingers. So when I say flexures, this is what I mean. These small springs um, that allow us to bend the finger. So they make it so that we don't need any sort of axle or bearing. And it's just the spring bending that allows us to move the fingers. I think we should do a little bit of a competition and see who's better at uh, lifting objects and holding objects. All right, so since we're not using any fasteners, we're not gonna need a screwdriver. So we'll see how well Hando does at a screwdriver. Obviously, I can lift the screwdriver and Hando, can he pick up the screwdriver? Doesn't seem to be able to. Like he gets a little bit of a grab. And then off it goes. So here, let's see, grabbing this hand, this guy. Oh, we seem to, oh, I was able to get it. Not bad, not bad, definitely. Uh, not the best, but not bad. We're gonna try and grab this little red block. Um, it's made of wood, it's, it's not the heaviest, but it's not the lightest either. And let's see, yeah, you can grab it pretty successfully, and you can move it around when you, you see that, that part. That's pretty cool. Okay, off goes the block. Now we're gonna see the glass cup, a little bit of a heavier object, and it grabs it, and let's see. Oh yeah, pretty solid. I'm surprised, that's excellent. And then let's see this large object here. Pretty cool. So, some things it does better, some things it doesn't. Um, but uh, Hando tries his best either way. <laughs> I think for the future, uh, I definitely want to have more actuation in the the wrist. Uh, the wrist right now is this solid piece, and by no means are our hands like that. And uh, I definitely want like a connection between the thumb that we normally have in our thumb and, and the palm that allows the thumb to move. Currently, each of the fingers does have uh, flexion um, and uh, extension, but, uh, but and, and they do have, I forget what these are called. Uh, you can tell me in the comments, the, the side to side motion. Um, but there isn't any of the normal movement that our thumb has. It can move from side to side pretty easily, but not to the same extent that I want it to in order to have the full range of motion that a human hand does. Thank you, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. And uh, uh, if you want, join the Patreon, and uh, there'll be a link below. Say goodbye, Hando. Goodbye, Hando.